Man, we're waiting right now, Jordan. Why aren't we renting a car? Because when you're a baller, <laughs> like Corey, <laughs> you get us, uh, you know, the UFC takes care of you and gets you a ride. But, uh, you know, they're late right now. Do all the fighters get this? All the fighters get this. All no the fighters and coaches. So even like the prelim fighters? Everybody. God damn it, Jordan, now we gotta get an Uber. <laughs> Why are we getting an Uber? Because they didn't come get us, they're an hour and a half away. I'm not this waiting. This always happened? This never happened to me before. Only when I show up. Only when you show up. <laughs> only when I'm trying to be Gary V does this happen. <laughs> come on. Everyone thinks that this is like, like, that there's so much going on. It's so boring. <laughs> it's so boring. It's a jiu-jitsu competition on steroids, right? So what I mean by a jiu-jitsu competition on steroids is the day of your jiu-jitsu competition. What happens? You are nervous, you're waiting, you're waiting, you're waiting, you're waiting, you're waiting, you're waiting, okay, go. That's, that's jiu-jitsu competitions. And people think that when you get to the big stage that that stuff goes away. And that's not the truth. That stuff gets amplified. There's nothing to do. You're just killing time. We've literally just done nothing. And that's what people don't understand. You know, most of it, we just kind of hang out. And we, we like, whatever Corey needs. And he's very needless. He doesn't need a lot, but you have to just sit around. And, because if you need something, you want to provide it. You're here to do work. You got 15 minutes of work coming. And you, got, you have to make sure that he's ready for that. It's, it's not glamorous. You know, it, it's not glamorous at all. I'm a little disappointed in you. In me? Yeah. Why? Man. I only got one cup? You got one cup. Did you see that line? <laughs> but you don't know what the rest of your day is going to look like. Like, how do you know we're going to go get breakfast? I said we're probably going to go get breakfast. But you don't have control right now, man. That's true. Like, you might be hungry. Like, this is, this is fight life, bro. This is fight life. I was foolish. Do you think Super Asian Lloyd over there is ever not hungry? Never hungry. Never hungry. <laughs> you don't think Super Always Asian Lloyd? Prepared. Always prepared. Right? It's fight day, man. It's yeah. fight day. You don't know how this is going to go. You should have gotten two cups. Okay. It's always two cups. I typically don't drink two cups of coffee. Oh, that's your problem. So what's the answer to that? Drink another cup of coffee. <laughs> <laughs> Just get two cups. Just get two cups. <laughs> but the problem is that Jordan knows this. This is our second trip, I don't know, 10 days together on the road now? Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Jordan. Jordan, gets three. Jordan needs three cups. That's exhausting. I'm exhausted just listening to 10 days on the road with Elliot. <laughs> Yeah, I slept 9.30 till midnight, and then was up from midnight to 4, and then slept like from 4.30 till about like 5.30. Just like normal, just like every cut, right? Yeah. You'll crash Actually, yeah, that was the most I've slept, probably. You'll just crash hard tonight. Yeah. The first fight is the weigh-in. Like, this is the first fight for everyone. And, you know, that's, it's a process. Like, last night, Corey said he didn't sleep on the black in my eyes and my breathing and everything and I was able to like turn everything off and not Relax. think about anything. Right. And like I still like I would feel myself get deeper into sleep but I was always awake like right, right at the like right at the line. Point. Yeah. And then, yeah, it sucked. But whatever it's like that every time. So he kind of had to deal with that on his own last night and then you just you just know that you have to deal with whatever the fighters emotions are and they change. No one's really consistent. Sometimes everyone's good, sometimes you're, they're bad. You don't know when the intense moments come, but when they're there, they're real intense. It's the most intensity that you can possibly have. You get them through that period of time so that they don't lose the fight the week of the fight. And you know, for a fighter like Corey, it doesn't really happen too much. You think when you're cutting weight that you're gonna be really hungry and stuff. Which is the case for maybe like the first two days of cutting weight. But like once you start sweating out water, I could care less about food right now. All you think about is just like sugary, lemonade-y, slurpee-y type drinks. And that is all that is on my mind until I step on that scale. But so people have the misconception. Slurpees. Oh yeah, slurpees. <laughs> Look at this one. This is a good one. <laughs> captures my love of dinosaurs too. <laughs>
<laughs> just like a cherry slurpee, just fucking dump it on my face right now, bro. I would, just, I would lick it off of every inch of me, bro, off my arms. Watch this. Fight day is, uh, it's pretty standard, the same for everyone. Shake out at some point, you wake up, you shake out. Shake out like, uh, it's the first time that you sweat again after you've eaten from the weight cut and like you normally don't, you might like take that night off, don't really do much. So you, you wanna get a sweat out, you wanna tell the body that you are going to ask something of it today. So Corey did that, he looked really good. And then he always likes to tell us what he's feeling, what he's thinking. And he just basically said he knows he's the best in the world. <laughs> I need to know from you guys when I need to win the minutes. So me and Christian were talking last night, I think it would be helpful if it's something like find your moment, find your moment, um, things like that, if I need to. If I don't need to, uh, don't say anything, just let me keep fucking them up the way that I am. If you guys see me start to slow down, uh, just remind me. We're staying in motion the whole time, I can do that. If I do start to slow down and it's because I, I, I see something, maybe I just need like 10 or 15 seconds just to kind of like, watch him a little bit. Also the heckling, make sure we're doing that to this guy. We're, oh, Corey, he's, he's, showing, he's showing he's tired, he's showing he's tired, because yeah. he does get tired and he knows it. His only chance in his head, I think, is that he's either scoring a big punch or he's gonna be, a, or he's gonna try to wrestle me. In his head, once he realizes how fast and how hard I am to hit, he's going to realize that wrestling is gonna be his only shot and if I take him down, he's, he's gonna know that he's very fucked for the next yeah. however long the fight goes. So if you guys do see me shoot, it's it's just to completely break his will. Because his maybe his will won't break, but his gas tank will break. And you're ready for him, his will not to break, and just fuck him up. Yeah, for I, yeah I'm, di I'm really dialed in. I, I have a different sense in this fight. I don't know if it's because maybe it feels like it's a bigger fight or if the stakes are a little bit higher. But in my the way I'm acting and the way that I'm noticing my mind going, is uh, it's very dialed in. And it's in a way where I don't feel like I have anything to prove, but I know that I'm the best. and. Now that I'm getting closer to the title, it's really time to start putting on performances where I'm just completely dominating and wiping people out. So that's where my mind is for this one. It's not to play, so if you guys see me in the back and you're like, oh, Corey's not being as cheerful, I don't know how I'll be in the back, but if that is the case, that's all that's going on is because I'm very dialed in. And I, and I noticed that right after uh, I saw him yesterday where I realized the heightened awareness that's inside of me right now. So um, if that's going on, it's not because I'm nervous or anything. I feel very, extremely confident just so that you guys know where I'm at in the back and stuff or, or where my headspace is, so. Um. I love my fighters, you know? I, lo uh, I love every single one of you guys. Every every student, like, I, I, really, I really love. Like, and that's the only, that's the only way that I can do this. I don't work with a lot of people so closely because uh, it's intense. And for me, I can only take but so much intensity because I know who I am. Um, it's draining for me because I, I know what you're in store for. I know that you're in store for really high or really low and nothing in between. It just, it just comes down to me that it's why I don't like working with a lot of people. But you gotta put the work in. And like Corey puts the work in. Corey, I, I, he's murked everyone. And then after the fight last week, last time I was like, hey, we need to work on this. And he says, yes, sir. And then there's no, there's no like convincing him to doing it or reminding him to do it. Or he's like, he, he's like, hey, you ready? It's, you know, after every sparring session, after every, after every time, not once, not once, hey, can I skip today? I'm tired, I had a hard, nothing. So for me, I, I need that. And I get that from him. And I get that from every single person I work with. So therefore, let's ride or die. But don't ride or die with me. Like, I know how special it is to, to walk out with a person. Like, because I've walked out on the other end, and I knew what those people behind me did for me. So I understand greatly how special it is 
to be the one walking out and not because I'm gonna be on TV or on camera. How many battles have you walked into? You know, like how many wars have you gone to? And then to consistently go to war with the same people, like that's got, that's got meaning to it. It's not, it's not nothing. So Corey has been able to find this innate ability to calm his mind. I've never seen anybody else do, to be real honest with you. Like everyone talks about it, but he actually really does it in chaos, because it's chaos. A fight is chaos, that's all a fight is. And that doesn't mean that other people aren't good. Like there's, there's plenty of people that are, that are very good that, that don't calm their mind, that like fight in the chaos. Like I don't think Nate Diaz calms his mind. Nate Diaz is just that gangster that he doesn't have to. It's, it's, a, it's a particular skill that allows him to now go perform at his highest potential, which is a very, very hard thing to do. Who's the chief secretary? Are you the commissioner? Yeah. Okay, I really need to use the restroom, so if someone's going to test me. Okay. If they are, yeah. Yeah, that's for you. Oh, so you can't need that. that peace of mind. Life is a mental game because a fight is just a small little dichotomy of life. It's chaos. It's all chaos. You have no control of all the things that happen to you in life. So what you have to do is you have to quiet your mind. Corey can do that in really big moments. All right, Corey, it's your time. Let's go, baby. So at some point down the road for all for, for everyone that's fighting, you're going to be forgotten. So what is it then? It's gotta be something more than that. It's learning how to control yourself, it's learning how to deal with chaos, it's learning how to deal with your life, it's learning how to deal with when things go bad, it's learning how to deal with when things go good and stay calm and not and not get too high on yourself. You know, it's this, it's this, it's life, man, right? We're all fighting, Hanzo says it best, everyone's fighting something. So you better learn how to do it well. And we got to see an actual physical altercation tonight. Can, can we all take that? Can we take the lesson that we're learning of how to quiet this to the best of our lives?